Uh, hello, <coughs> everybody. Uh, welcome to your next tutorial. Uh, we will we'll be learning about creating the map class now. Now, uh, this may take up to two tutorials, um, depending on uh, how long it takes me to do this one. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So now we're gonna uh, um create a new class. Uh, so let's make it map. So map .h for the header file. And map dot cpp for the implementation file that's what it's called so uh in the map dot h we're gonna put include uh allegro dot h and include global dot h and just save this okay so you already know what the global does if you watch my last tutorial and you know what um allegro.h does okay so let's go and create our class don't forget this time we call it at the end so let's make this public and private and then the private put load counter x and load counter y and map size x map size y and in the public I'm gonna put the uh, constructor destructor init update and draw to bitmap buffer okay so once you got all that done, then we're gonna make another function called load map, and uh, it's gonna and the parameter's gonna be constant char file name, and so we're gonna um this is the type it has to be if when you're using the um the file stream, um when you're typing in the file name, so you'll see how that works later. And another thing in the private area, uh, we're gonna put it map file. 100 by 100 and I one thing one other thing I forgot to include is the F stream so it's what we will need to use and just to make it easier on ourselves let's use namespace dot um using namespace scd I don't really use namespace scd all that much but to make it easier on your sake um I will use it for this tutorial so let's include map dot h so let's just create our sorry I'm with the mouse the pointer so that's our um constructor our destructor and now our net and let me just move down uh update and draw and bitmap buffer and then void map load map and then constant char file name so and our um just like in my map tutorials before we're gonna be loading the map the exact same way <coughs> sorry for that I'm kinda sick so now we're just gonna be putting if stream open file and we're opening the file name and so we're saying open file is open uh and we just put a comma here file is opened uh then we're gonna get the map size x and the map size y so um before i i made i think i made a variable called once and i said that whatever when once is equal to false then you get the map size x and then we set it to true um but i i wasn't thinking like there's a easier way to go about it so this way is easier so just i put open file map size x and map size y and then I do my while loop right here because this will only execute once 
and then my while loop will execute to get the rest of the data it needs, right? So once not open file dot eof, so once the file is once it's not at the end of the file, you want it to continue to get contents. So <coughs> sorry, we're gonna put open file map file load counter x load counter y and if you haven't watched my map tutorials then i advise that you go and watch those so uh what we have to do is increment load counter um by uh, load counter x by one each time and then we're gonna have our if statement right here so if load counter x is greater than or equal to map size x the load counter x is equal to zero and load counter y plus plus now the reason being is that we wanna we're gonna when we're, when we're getting the contents of our file we're gonna get all the files in the first row so that's just gonna do according to the map size x so say there's um <coughs> say that the map size is 20 by no say it's 10 by 10 so it's going to get the first ro um 10 rows of numbers so the map size would be 10 so it would go 10 times right and then <coughs> and then when it reaches 10 then you'd put low counter x to 0 and then low counter y and you'd add one to it so then it'll go to the next row then it'll get all the numbers in that row then you go to the next row and get all the numbers in that row and so on and so forth. And we're storing it in the map file um, in the two-dimensional array. And that's basically it for this um, function. And just um, to do good programming, you know we said if um, file is open or whatever. So we let's put an else statement in case the file isn't open. So let's put... Let's put in like an Allegro message. Um, map file couldn't be found. So yeah, and that's all we need for the load map. So the load map is gonna be in the net. And uh, let's name the map file map one dot txt because the text file let me check how much time i have okay so that's basically it now for, for my map um for my draw function i think i should show you this after we actually create the map so this is all i'm gonna do for this tutorial um now like since we're creating a game I need to know something like how many levels do you want um, me to create so tell me do you want just to show you how to make one level and you figure out how to do the others or do you want like two levels or whatnot just tell me how many you want and if you want like three levels in your game I'll show you how to transfer from one level to the next level when they reach a certain point in the game so I uh, hope you liked the tutorial thanks for watching and